All right, jumping on a contest for my man, Sam St. John. If you are not subscribed to Sam St. John, I'm going to leave a link below to his channel. Do you like good music? Yes, okay. Do you like listening to somebody play the acoustic guitar? Yes, right? Go head over to Sam's channel because he does that. He listens to kick butt music. And he plays the guitar, he sings, he's a very talented young, young lad. He's got amazing hair that I'm jealous of. He's just an all-around good guy. I've done some live streams with Sam. I've seen him play oh, on his channel with Glenn Kellaway from The Basement. That's another channel you need to check out. And Sam is celebrating two years in the VC. So he's running this contest, and I just saw it tonight. I wanted to jump on. I don't know. Maybe I'm the first one. We'll see. But everybody should jump into this contest. Everybody should head over to Sam's channel and subscribe. Again, I'm going to leave a link below. And just some simple questions to celebrate two years in the VC. So I'm hoping I remember these questions. Here we go. The first one, show your favorite box set. Well, Sam, this is not my favorite box set, but I wanted to show a box set that I don't know if I've shown before. This is... Mr. Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band. And this is their live 1975-85 uh, collection. Now, this is a box set. But what's cool about this, this is the cassette version. And I don't think I've opened these cassettes. So let me just show you guys what's in here. Okay? You, you get the book. Okay? And I would assume that... Is there's a, I'm, I would assume there's a CD version of this and a vinyl. Is there a vinyl version? I don't know, but you know you have the booklet with all the goodies inside, and then the cassettes are housed inside, and these are all still sealed. Actually, I'm lying. One of them's sealed, and the others, the other two are not. I'm trying to get this out of here to show you. Um, and of course this is the cassette. And there you go. I love cassettes. I, I, you know, I've never even listened to this on cassette. I don't know if I've ever heard the whole concert, you know, before anyways. But, you know, and that's probably a crime. But I wanted to show that because maybe it'll sort of encourage me to listen to it. All right, next question. A band that you've seen live. I have seen Kiss live quite a few times. I saw them with Aerosmith. I saw them on the Psycho Circus tour. I saw them on the Reunion tour. I saw them on the Farewell tour that I think they're probably still doing. But this is one of my favorite albums by Kiss, The Elder. So any chance I get a chance to show this album, I'm an excited person. Next, show an album that is still sealed. Ha! Huh, funny thing, Sam. I went to Barnes & Noble today. Yeah, I know, right? Buying records, such a weird thing for me. And I just bought this record. It's still sealed. Still got the hype on it, JC. This is a Barnes & Noble exclusive. The pine, first, first time US LP reissue, the pioneering 1969 outlaw country classic featuring Graham Parsons, James Burton, and Gene Clark. This is limited to 500 copies. Clear vinyl with green swirl. This is, of course, Steve Young's Rock Salt and Nails. The album, I looked it up on Discogs to get an original pressing. Hard to come by and expensive, so this reissue was pretty cool. Um, I don't know a lot about Steve Young. I just know that this album is good. And I've listened to a little bit of it on Spotify, but I'm looking forward to spinning it. I mean, any album with uh, Graham Parsons on it is killer. And maybe somebody in the comments can blow, comments can blow, can show, tell us a little bit more about Steve Young. But I don't know. I haven't opened it yet. And there was probably a reason because I had to show it in Sam's contest. Check it. Next, an album that I've only spun once. This album, because I just got this one a couple weeks ago and I, I, I just spun it once. But this is the band Blast. And they are an SST band. This is their album, Take the Manic Ride. Basically, think Black Flag. If you like Black Flag, you're going to like Blast. They basically sound like a Black Flag cover band at times. Really good stuff. 
And again, this is uh, 1989 on the SST label. I believe that this was their last album on SST. But if you love that 80s punk Black Flag sound, check out the band Blast. I like how they, they write their name too. And last question, uh, show an album with uh, an autograph on it or maybe an album that you would love to have autographed. Well, I want to show two. The first one is Janice Ian. And there's the autograph to Chris, Janice Ian. This is a compilation called At 17. This is put out by uh, CBS uh, Special Products. And funny thing, when I brought this CD to the show, Janice Ian looked at it and she's like, that's kind of a rare CD. She's like, I haven't seen that in a long time. So I thought that was pretty cool. And she signed it to Chris. What an amazing show this was. Uh, I was hoping to see her live again, but she had to cancel her show this past uh, fall because of, I think, some vocal issues. But at least I got a chance to see her live. And this is another one that, I, that came signed, or I got signed. I didn't see Blaze live, but when I bought this on his website, he signed it. And Blaze Bailey, of course... Uh, sang on a couple Iron Maiden albums. He was in Wolfsbane. Aaron, Aaron can tell you all about Wolfsbane. And, um, you know, he's had a, a, a successful solo career. If you like straight up metal, along the lines of Iron Maiden, but heavier, check out Blaze. Love Blaze's stuff. This is his latest album, War Within Me. Signed. So there you go. Sam, congratulations on two years, buddy. Uh, love love your channel, love you, brother. And again, if you are not subscribed to Sam, head on over to his channel, link below, and enter this contest too. All right, guys, bye.